Hi, today's video is going to be very useful for research scholars and those who are trying to publish paper in some journals. Now, I am going to introduce you a software called Publish or Publish, which, which you find here, you know. Now, let us say you are trying to research on a certain topic and that topic, uh, let us say this job satisfaction. Now, regarding job satisfaction, we can collect journals or articles, already published papers from various sources like Crossref, Google Scholar, uh, Google Scholar Profile, Microsoft Academic, Scopus, or Web of Science, etc., etc. The most popular one for us is, of course, the Google Scholar. Now, let us search in Google Scholar using this software for our research. Let us say we are going to search, search about or we are going to research about job satisfaction which is a very common or very popular topic among students and other researchers. Now when you open the software, when you click uh, Google Scholar, you are presented with four search options. One is author. If you are at an advanced level and if you know the author, if you are searching for a specific author, you can just type his name and give the title keywords and get articles. Otherwise, if you want to list some reputed journals like Elsevier and things like that, you, know, you can search with the publication name here. And if you are searching about some articles which the keywords of which are which is appearing only in titles, for example, the job satisfaction, and this job satisfaction you want to appear in the titles of the published articles, and you want to list such articles, you have to type it here. And if it is okay with you that job satisfaction appears anywhere in the article, you just type it here. And let us now search for job satisfaction, no? articles on job satisfaction which appears only in its title. That means it will exclude all the articles which, which does not contain the term job satisfaction. Now we have started a search. And uh, the software will give you a maximum of 1000 results only at a time. You can get more results if you want. Now, it will take a while depending on the speed of your connectivity and uh, the uh, depending on the time, it will uh, take a little bit of time for to retrieve those results. Now, since it is taking a little bit uh, longer time to uh, fetch the data from a uh, Google Scholar by the software. For the time being, let us abort this function and let us see about, let us evaluate the results that we have with us right now. Now, we have searched on job satisfaction and you should have put uh, in both uh, inverted commas in both the sides, if it, then that means it will search only on job satisfaction. Now, you find an area which is almost like Excel workbook or worksheet, which is having certain si titles like sites, per year, rank, authors, title, year, publication, publisher, type, and so on. Sites means number of citations received by this particular paper. See, one paper which is having the title job satisfaction, job satisfaction, what is job satisfaction, an index of job, job satisfaction. These are some of the articles published by some authors and author's name is also here. And this software has given a certain rank to all this and it is listed based on a certain rank. And mind you, we can get up to 1000 results. Since we have aborted the operation, we have got only 180 results so far, we could have gone up to 1000. Now, how to use this? One advantage here is that we are getting all the articles related to job satisfaction in one place. We are getting a big list of articles with ranks and number of citations and with H index. Let's look at the H index here, H here, H index. Now we know which are the good articles, which are not so good articles. We can now select articles, which is not possible in any other way. If you just go to Google Scholar and search, this is not possible. So the power of this software is it is giving you a list of articles in one place. And it's not just that. Just see 
what happens if we double click on the on a particular article and before that let me in, uh, tell you about two more things we will be able to get the publication and public publisher right for example see in an alphabetical order we can list this just by one just a click and if you go down see Elsevier is coming up Emerald right uh, then uh, if you go down you'll get you'll find JSTOR article from JSTOR you'll find uh, other things also like Springer is here Taylor and Francis so all the reputed publication is also here suppose if you want only from a reputed publisher so that the journal with which you are going to publish a paper is uh, going to accept only a paper you know some sometimes they may accept only those references which appeared only in reputed journals so you can search like that and you can get the articles and in this column you find uh, pdf html book sometimes it may be citation since we are about to the operation we are not getting it here look at this pdf if the PDF apply, apply, uh, appears here, it means that in this particular page, this is the link to a particular web page, this is an HTML link to a particular page and this page will open a PDF file. Let us double, on, double click on this and oh sorry, this is academica.edu so that they are not going to give you this, right. Um, so let us uh, try another one. Um, uh, from the semantic scholar. Now, see, you have got this. So academia. I don't have uh, the. Uh, I have not subscribed, so they are not going to give me uh, the article straight away. So if you have, if the article is available free straight away, you will be able to get this. Otherwise, you will be give, You will be. Uh, you will be sent to a link. For example, uh, this particular, let us uh, just go through, let's, let's say Elsevier, right? In the publication which is called Business oh, sorry, no, Organizational Behavior and Human Performance, let us double click on this. You will be directed to this Elsevier page which contains this particular page, which particular uh, article. Now you cannot download this because it is not open source or it is not open access. If you are lucky, you will be getting it open access, otherwise you will be directed to this particular page where you have, if you need to be subscribed to Elsevier, otherwise you need to be in a library where it is available, otherwise you may have to ask a librarian to give you this. Like that we can go for all the other articles also, sometimes it may be uh, open source, otherwise uh, no, look at emerald.com. Now, in this, I think uh, this is not this is not open source. Again, uh, you have to. Uh, you, it's only the link is given here, right? Like that, we can get as many as as many articles as possible. And if you are in a library which is where all these are subscribed, you will be easily able to download all the articles. So the usefulness of this particular software is you get a list of all the articles with the link to that article in one particular place. It is not only that, you can also copy the results and save the results for your future reference. And one more thing which I want to tell you about this particular software is that you can search with years. Suppose if you want only articles from 2015 to 2020, you can do that by just giving the years and mention the years here and just click search and the article will give you, the software will give you a list of articles which is having a link to the uh, journals page just by a click. Now it is not just um, Google Scholar where you can uh, go for, you can also search for other uh, data, uh, data sources like for example Scopus. Now if you want to search in Scopus that means if you want to search for articles which are appearing in Scopus indexed journals it is possible here. 
for that you need an api key and how to get the api key for scopus search and i have already done in a video and the link to that video i'll i will uh, put it in the description box so you can uh, go through that and find out how to get uh, how to search in api uh, how to search in scopus index uh, articles we can also search web of science but the issue is that you should be logged on to web of science you must, you must have subscribed to uh, web of science and you must have logged on then only you will be able to get this and you can serve all the results suppose you have heard search about job satisfaction we have got some 280 articles or as many as possible we can get we can get up to 1000 articles and we can save results in uh, csv format in web tags endnote isi uh, sorry ris and so on the advantage of this is that you can save and uh, keep it in your computer or you can mail it for, mail it for yourself you can use it for bibliometric analysis also which i'll uh, mention i'll deal with in another uh, software and uh, another video this channel is only for academic and research related videos if you're interested please do subscribe thank you